addition to what he has. Let's not forget in January, Conte brought in uh, Kulusevski and Benton Cole. Those players, were alongside with Song and Kane, helped them to get over the line and made them qualify for the Champions League. Now, you can't tell me with all this acquisition and we are agreeing that he is a world-class manager, yet he cannot compete with likes of Liverpool and Pep, Man City's Pep for the league, but he should be able to compete for just top four. That's not making sense. That is not making any kind of sense. We, we, have, we know the narrative since last season that if Conte gets these players, he can do wonders, he can turn water to wine. And actually a world-class manager. Let's go better than that, it's just logic. With all this acquisition, this is five outfit players and one goalkeeper. Good signings, good addition, good supplements. These are players he wants, which he has a world-class striker who is going to guarantee him 20 plus goals in Hurricane. He has another striker in song that's going to guarantee him 15 plus goals we have the top three finish, season after that, fight for the title. That's where he wants to be in his mind. Now, whether he gets there or not, it's a whole other matter. Well, we know that uh, boss man Daniel Levy doesn't really like to spend a lot of money, but it seems like he has with Antonio Conte, with the players that he has brought in. At least lately, we see only two departures, and of course, this long list of players. And in January, he also brought. <laughs> Welcome back, back like I never left. I'm going to discuss the Conte agenda. Yes, the Conte agenda. I've seen a few clips, especially on ESPN, Talk Sports, Sky Sports, uh, giving Conte a pathway. And I think we need to review and talk about it. But I, I'm not getting it, right? I'm not getting it. If Conte is this world class manager, according to most of you, we all agree he's being touted as a world-class manager, right? He has won the Italian league. He has won the English Championship with Chelsea. The Italian league won three leagues with, with Juventus. Kudos to him. So, we agree he's a world-class manager. So, last season, they managed to beat Arsenal to the, the, to the first, uh, first space for the Champions League. Kudos to them. Even though as a gunner, I was disappointed. Shout out to them. They have to, I'll say one world-class player and one top-class player in Son and the world-class player in Hurricane, helping them to get over the line. Kudos to them. Now, let's look at what they've recruited uh, thus far this season. Richarlison from Everton, 60 million, very good uh, striker. He can play across the front three. Uh, he is Bitsuma, very solid midfielder from Brighton. Jess Spence, another good acquisition from uh, Nottingham Forest, very good right back, had a fantastic game against uh, Martinelli. I'm looking for uh, looking forward to the, a rematch in the English Championship this season. Ivan Perisic, another winner from Inter Milan, very good player. He's going to play as a wing back from the left side. Uh, Clement Longley uh, from Barcelona on loan, very decent player. I, I do not rate him, but Conte signing the, he wanted him so. Uh, good one for him. Then Fraser Foster, a goalkeeper, a backup to their number one. This is a fantastic addition to what he has. Let's not forget in January, Conte brought in uh, Kulusevski and Benton Cole. Those players, were alongside with Song and Kane, helped them to get over the line and made them qualify for the Champions League. Now, you can't tell me with all this acquisition and we are agreeing that he is a world class manager. Yet, he cannot compete with likes of Liverpool and Pep, Man City's Pep, for the league. But he should be able to compete for just top four. That's not making sense. That is not making any kind of sense. We, we, have, we know the narrative since last season that if Conte gets these players, he can do wonders, he can turn water to wine. And actually, a world class manager. Let's go better than that, it's just logic. With all this acquisition, this is five outfit players and one goalkeeper. Good signings, good addition, good supplements. These are players he wants, 
with he had a world-class striker who is going to guarantee him 20 plus goals in hurricane he has another striker in song that's going to guarantee him 15 plus goals we have liverpool who has lost Sergio Mane that is losing like 15 plus goals and the work ethic he adds to the team now we know uh, the, the the sign a striker from Benfica. His name is his name escapes my mind, but we don't know how he's going to react, react how he's going to uh, fit in into the Premiership. We don't know, but Liverpool, whether you like it or not, uh, in my opinion, they are as well strong as last season. We want to replace Mane uh, with Diego, with Nunes? They, uh, no, with Diaz. Diaz started like house on fire, but he, he he faded off a little bit. We don't know what's going to be of him this coming season, and they brought in the big, uh, the number nine from Benfica, which is fantastic. Let's see how that goes. We know Man City sold, uh, uh, what's his name, Gabriel Jesus to Arsenal. They sold Ryan Sterling to Liverpool. Uh, sorry, to Chelsea. Whether you like them or not, whether you read them or not, that's a few goes out of Man City. They brought in Haaland. They brought in Alvarez. We we know Haaland should, on paper, Haaland should score. 30 goals plus that's on paper but we don't know how Alan's going to fit how, whether he's going to score this amount of goals in the English Premier League we've seen the likes of Timo Werner we've seen the likes of Lukaku we've seen the likes of Kaysman uh, other strikers come from other leagues and they struggle in the English Premiership so if you have that and you're telling me sports cannot compete cannot compete for the English Premiership you're, you're, you're smoking bush I'm not settling. I'm not going to be brainwashed by the the the, uh, the mass media or the this nonsense uh, outlets. Like uh, it doesn't make sense. Like you can't tell me. Am I tripping? The regular media are brainwashing us. You can't tell me he's a world class manager in one breath. That if you give him his ammunition, he can compete and win the league. And he has done his other in, in other countries. He has done it in Italy. He has done it in England before. I chose before he got sacked. Now, sports for the first time, Daniel Levy is opening his wallet and actually spending money. So he's spending all this money just for him to actually well, spend another top player, sports. Does he, does he, does he, Conte's preferred nah, 3 4 2 one formation. No. And I, I think it makes sense. Hell no. I, I think Spurs have. have let's, let's look well, at this. They've taken let's, a chance on Antonio this. Conte that, that Manchester United didn't want to. They know what he brings in, in terms of uh, his own expectation <laughs> and, and, and need to match oh, it. And, um, Daniel Levy hasn't really spent any passes, as was mentioned, but that had to change under, under Antonio Conte. And, and now he's building a team, as Antonio Conte does, with winning the title in, in mind. So um, Levy and Spurs had to had to match that. Yeah, and they're trying to at least get <laughs> See guys, do not fall for the agenda. Do not fall for the the, the, the agenda of the mass media. Do not fall for the agenda of the fan channels. They are doing the same agenda. They accuse the mass media, uh, the mainstream of media, of doing. This is some bullshit. You can't in one breath say, uh, Conte is a world class manager. And when he's being given the ammunition to prove that he's duly world class, you change the narrative to saying, oh, he should not be able to qualify and let's see how it goes. Because most of them, all at a rookie. But that logic, Atta is a rookie doesn't get all what he wants. He comes to a bad team trying to replace uh, the bad players. Always go back how much Ateta has spent on the team, forgetting that he spent that money to replace bad players. Now, Conte is spending money on a relatively good team. He has three right backs, like Jed Spence, uh, the, the guy Emerson Royal, and Doherty. At the left wing back, he brought in Perisic in the midfield. He has Besuma, uh, Hoiberg. Uh, wait, what does he have? He, he have Hoiberg, Besuma, Benton Cole. He had a few good players in the attack Kane, Song, Kulusevski, Richarlison, and the back, uh, the, the Argentine defender. His name escapes my mind. Then he has brought in Longley. Like, what are you telling me that you can't compete with the likes of Liverpool? You can't compete with the likes of Man City? That's what do you think? Leave the comment section. Am I tripping? Do you think this, the, the, the squad, 
Tottenham have right now with the fact that Anthony Conte is a world-class manager meaning he can actually improve their, their, their performance 10 to 20 percent more because he is world-class meaning he can push and boost their performance you're telling me he can actually compete so the best thing i have is tough for competing with likes of Manchester United who are rebuilding as we are rebuilding for a top four are they supposed to be a, a top class manager i'm not believing that bullshit like i said leave me in the comment section do you think Anthony Conte should be vying for the the premiership or just the top four guys leave me if, leave it in the comment section because I think Anthony Conte has a good enough squad, in my opinion. Objectively, objectively, he has a good enough squad to compete with the likes of Man City and Liverpool for the Premiership. If by the end of the Premiership, uh, Anthony Conte is behind by 15 points, he is not just good enough. That's a failure, in my opinion. That's a terrible season because you cannot call him a world class manager who has been backed for the first time in a long time. Jerry Levy is backing the sports manager. He backed him with his uh, sporting director. He has backed him with the kind of signings he wants. Yet, you got to go and tell me that with all the finance invested, it should just be good enough for just top four. I'm not buying it. Guys, okay, leave in the top comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell and like the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.